parents, Dr. Matt here. Today I wanna to talk about working with the body and not against it. How we help so many kids conquer that long-term medication use that honestly so many of us wanna avoid our kids from getting into that long-term cycle. So I wanna talk about this from a couple different areas and to be honest, we do a workshop about this and every time we do the workshop, parents are nodding their heads because it's what they want. I've never had a parent come to me and say, hey, I want to have my kiddos rely on this. I want them to rely on on that medication or that or 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 or, or, or that change. We want to help them to really do it themselves, to help their bodies be self-healing and self-regulating like they absolutely were meant to be. So here's how we break it down. Oftentimes, kiddos, kiddos, you know, and parents, we feel like we have to use med use for three main systems, right? The immune system, this commonly happens with ear infections with congestion, with drainage struggles, everything that happens up here, because when fluid gets stuck, oftentimes it gets bacteria, it can get things like that. So we feel like we have to use that from an ear infection standpoint. We also get that stuck from a digestive system standpoint, where if they're not moving it through, if they're not plumbing really well and they just can't go and they get constipated, well then we wanna add things in for that. The third area that we find a lot of kids struggling where they get stuck in that cycle is with the neurobehavioral emotional system. We call it the gas first brake pedal. That's where kiddos get stuck and they struggle with focus, they struggle with attention, they can't sit still, and oftentimes it affects behavior or social things like that. Now, with all three of these things, they're all alternatives. And so I wanna talk about some of them individually, but then I wanna really talk about them as the whole. Because when we use a medication, we add something in, for the body, it's just not working with the body, it's actually slowing down a lot of the body's processes. And so I wanna bring up a quick slide here on this, is in what we talked about in our workshop is being prepared to kick the sick without medications. Because if we do that, the body's gonna learn and it's gonna be able to respond better in the future. So, so often, um, what we look at is we look at certain things as bad or good within the body. Well, they're not all bad or good really inherently, and that's what these three articles on here really show is, you know, germs and bacteria, they're not all inherently bad. They actually work with the body to be able to make the body stronger. So a lot of times when we have to use a medication like an antibiotic or a Miralax or, or you know, an ADHD or attention, attention drug, it's actually helping our body to really become more dependent on that and more put the neuroimmune system more into suppression mode. When it goes more into suppression mode, then the body doesn't learn how to fight long term. And so we have to go back and say, okay, what is truly the cause that we can help the body with so that way we don't have to rely on those meds further down the line. And here's what's crazy about this. And when I learned this as a parent, it really blew my mind and actually made me feel a lot better about how I was doing is fever a lot of times is an overall beneficial process. So we don't wanna suppress that fever. Cough is an important defense reflex. So we don't wanna stop the cough. That's the body naturally expressing and getting things out and helping the body work. To be honest, the same is true with neuroemotional struggles. When kids get very energetic, they have to move, they have to run, they, 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 they wanna not sit still. That's their body saying, hey, I gotta get all this energy out of my system. I wanna jump out of this chair right now and not do my homework because I'm more in that protective space. So what we wanna look at as pediatric chiropractors is honestly going beneath the surface, looking past the symptoms, looking past those surface level struggles that a lot of times we're just masking and saying, what is the true cause of it? What is the cause of them getting congested up here and not being able to drain to get those ear infections? What is the cause of them being constipated and not being able to work through a meal and that digestive motility and elimination process? What is the true root cause of them having too much energy in their body and that's signaling their brain to go 120, 30, 40, 50, 1,000 miles an hour sometimes where we feel like they can't slow down. So truly we want to look at the cause because that's gonna eliminate the back end of having to use these things for the long term. Now with every kiddo, every case story 
is completely unique to you. So whether you're struggling with more the immune side of it, or you feel like in your constant cycle of kick the sick, you know, where you're getting those fevers, where you're getting those coughs, where maybe it's, you know, constantly that, 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 that drainage, ear infection, sore throat, down into the lungs, maybe even a pneumonia, you know, that's where we've got to look at that neuroimmune system and say, okay, how can it respond better to not have to need that medication? How can a kiddo that's getting stuck and just chronically on Miralax be able to get off of that so that they can adjust on their own. And the same is true for the kiddo that struggles neurobehaviorally. How do they settle down? We're gonna look at each of those cases unique. We do that by digging into the story. Then we measure what matters. We wanna see what their body's doing um, from an immune system, from a digestive system, from a busy brain system. We wanna see all those things with the insight scans that we do in our office because that tells us specifically how we can get in there and help to truly go about the cause and then give you as parents the answers and the options. I've got four boys of my own. I know when we work through things, things come in phases, right? We struggle with different things and oftentimes we end up turning to something in that medicine cabinet that we maybe don't wanna do. And you know what? Don't beat yourself out ab up about that. That's okay. We've all been there. We've all done that. But if you're in this constant cycle where it feels like that's the only thing that can help, that's where we wanna help you. That's where we wanna dig in and we wanna be able to help you more than ever be able to conquer that cause, get to the bottom of it, find the root, because if we do that, then we know you won't get stuck in that cycle of sickness and all of those different systems. And then you'll be able to do things that are working with the body, not against the body, where the nervous system is more self-healing, more self-regulating, and you're kicking it from every which system you can. If you need more info, please DM us, please message us. We would love to help you and your kiddo um, with their unique challenges because that's what we do. We want to get to the root cause and do just that. Take care, guys. God bless. Hope this message found you well.